Japan's land area is relatively small, and the country is considered to be poor in natural resources. However, it is the sixth largest maritime nation when all its territorial area and exclusive economic zones are combined. Recent studies have found that mineral resources lie under the seafloor around Japan. Yet no full-fledged investigations have been conducted to date. Today, I'd like to show you the Integrated Ocean Resources Surveying System, the world's leading system that Japan has developed to search for and characterize ocean resources, particularly seafloor hydrothermal activity. To begin with, let me interview Ayu, a member of the development team of this system, on what the Integrated Ocean Resources Surveying System is. Yes, any ocean resources survey project starts with the most important step that we cannot omit. We cannot possibly just go out there and blindly wander about in search of resources. We first collect and analyze samples of ocean resources in the target area to understand why the resources are present in that particular area. In the example of hydrothermal deposits, a kind of ocean resources, we know today that metals produced in magma deep down under the seafloor travel upwards to the seafloor. I see. If we know how hydrothermal activity is created, we will be able to narrow down potential areas with resources. So once, prospective waters for hydrothermal deposit survey are determined, what kind of survey activities do you perform? The next step is to further narrow down potential areas of interest in a phased manner for the efficiency sake. The first phase is a regional survey. We get on board the ship to collect safer topographic data that provides the basic information for investigating how hot water and gases come out of the seabed. Wow, you can observe the seabed in real time from the ship. This makes it possible to survey the target areas effectively. The next phase is a semi-detailed survey. Metal minerals under the seabed have an electrical potential different from the surrounding areas. We also survey the geological structure under the seabed using a robot called an autonomous underwater vehicle, AUV which carries probing sensors. So that's complicated. Perhaps, simply put, by capturing the characteristics of metal minerals, you can survey the spread of minerals under the ocean floor. Is that it? Exactly. Now that you have narrowed down areas of interest by understanding the extent of peculiar formation under the seafloor, it is now the time for a detailed survey, the final phase. This is how we survey the three-dimensional geometry of subsea formations by using seismic wave generators set up on the seafloor. The goal is to discover concealed resources under the seafloor based on the difference in rock density. This approach provides more accurate subsea floor information because the investigation takes place on the actual seafloor, closer to the resources themselves. These are actual mineral samples taken from the sea area that was identified by the Integrated Ocean Resources Surveying System. When we see tangible results like this, we feel assured of the usefulness of the system, don't we? Exactly. We also develop a technology to visualize where subsea resources may most likely exist by comprehensively analyzing the data obtained during this phase narrowing down process. So we cannot see the resources under the seafloor. So this kind of visualization should help us grasp accurate locations. What is your impression, Sasha? Well, planning ahead very well is a shortcut, after all, to effective and low-cost survey at sea, as it is far too difficult to investigate the entirety of the vast ocean. Right. We have developed this system through a concerted effort by the industry, academia, and government. The aim is to transfer the technologies and know-how obtained in the process to the public sector. In other words, to industrialize the Ocean Resources Survey. Additionally, 
of this technology to survey ocean resources is the first of its kind in the world. We have to develop a process to assess the impact of an ocean resources survey project on the deep sea environment from scratch. There were or are no guidelines in Japan. So, this new survey technology cares about not only the humans living on shore, but creatures in the ocean. Japan has developed the Integrated Ocean Resources Surveying System ahead of the rest of the world. The use of this methodology is expected to provide the foothold for full-scale survey of ocean resources. I'm looking forward to learning what will become of this system. <laughs>